Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome to The Somnian Files with me, your girl, No Fuses. Now, this is a game I've been putting off playing for who knows what reason, but I've been curious about playing this game for the longest time since it came out because it was created by the same people who made Danganronpa, and Danganronpa is one of my favorite games I ever played. So, when they said they were making this one, I was like, ooh. Well, what's gonna happen? Um, from just the trailer, I can tell they kind of like changed up how they usually do it. Um, but I have no clue like what's about to happen. I'm really excited to play this game, and I hope it has the same bar that they, the same bar or even higher than what they did with the Dong and Rampa series because that, <laughs> that was an awesome game series. So I have a very high standard for for these people right now. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys like this game or this series and would like to see more videos of this game, then please don't hes hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. And now let's get into it. Looks like you need uh, some help there. Oh, you're dead. Oh, okay. Never mind. You you don't need help anymore. And they cast your eyes out. You better not start moving. Day one, Friday. For, for some reason, every time I look at it, I'm like, please don't start moving. Oh, but I was like, can I do anything? Investigation. During investigation, the main character, Date. Your name is Date. Okay. Inspect scenes and collects testimony, progress by examining objects and talking to people. Okay, so we got a, we got a bit of Ace Attorney going on here. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. How about myself? Oh, the boss? Choices and look. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you were speaking to. How would you look first? I call her boss. Oh, I thought this was in a different view. Oh my god, I don't know why I thought I was the girl for some strange reason. I literally thought this was like, oh dang, what... Um, not first person, um, 
maybe third person view. That's why I kind of thought it was. That's my bad. So it's first person view. I'm already the character. I call her boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropol- Oh my god, I butchered that word! Police department! I report directly to her. Okay, any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Copycat killer? I'm pretty sure there isn't another game to another game before this game, right? So unless they're about to explain it later in the story, let me shut up and play. Case six years ago. Okay, they are gonna explain it. Case six years ago. For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're here to work! Duh! You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, Date. and that means you uh. answer me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Okay, so it's not Date, it's Date. Hello, my name is Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? Oh, we do. I had to tell you. You deserve to know. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Dang. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. I like how she says the beat cop. He's like, yeah, he was just lazing around eating some donuts. Yeah. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. Uh. I'll give you the details later. Conversations. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. Okay. Selecting log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Alright. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I'm gonna guess childhood friends. I wouldn't say that. They were just acquaintances. Ah, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm wrong! Alright, now I can move it. Policeman, policeman, policeman. Anything else? Oh, control room. Oh, oh, we can move the view. Oh, how far can we move it? So there's a quite a bit to inspect here. Yeah, I've been wondering about this since the game turned on. Like, what is with these horses? Horse from merry go round. It looks like it's skewered. I know. That's why I was just like, it's like they fell from the sky and then they got speared. This is not a message from the criminal. What? What are you? The park was already in this state before the crime. Oh. Um, My dead. best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Hmm. I don't know what what the joke was. Oh yeah, let me just take these horses and put them upside down. Ha <laughs> ha Hilarious. I'll probably just be looking at it weird and probably post it on Instagram like, look at this shit. It's been eight years since Bloom Park, Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten, the weather's gotten to it pretty bad. Okay. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off? I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Okay. We're gonna look at all the probably unimportant stuff first it's a bench because I feel like the moment we click on the important stuff it's probably gonna move me out the area like automatically and I would rather like get to look at everything first the, this rain is depressing has it been like this all day the old ferris wheel is over there 
It feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Oh, isn't that comforting? The panda ride looks lonely. Oh, I can click on the other bench too? Click on it. Oh my god. It's a bench. Okay, that wasn't important either. A parasol is getting pelted by the rain. Okay, so we're just making obvious observations here. How's the vision coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. That's all you gotta say about that? A local cop. Okay, who has nothing to say, apparently. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. Okay, so your brand's speaking new in the forest if you're talking like that. It's Kagami, sir. Not yet, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. An inspector from Metro. I hope he finds a lead. Alright, so let's... Let's go to the main event. The body. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, oh, look at sir, me? could you please not get any closer? Oh, okay. <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. Oh, I thought I was here to investigate the, the murder. Like, w will you want me to just watch you until you're done? I appreciate your understanding. It's basically just like, hurry up, please. Oh, I just now too. noticed. I just now noticed, but Dante's, uh, Dante's. Oh, I said Dante. Dante's um, eyes, they're uh, one's yellow, one's green. I just now noticed. It's pretty cool. I love it when people have like two different colored eyes. It's just the most fascinating thing to me. That's a buy. Her official designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial, artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. <gasps> So one of your eyes is a fake eye. Oh, that describes the design. Okay. And you, because it's a yellow eye, your, your yellow eye is fake. Okay. An AI for an eye. Eh. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. While playing through the story, Abai's special vision mode may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls in the, on the pad. Ah, there we go. Oh, did I press it down? Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, her face. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. I feel like they were closer than what he's saying. So, oh, we were just acquaintances. I'm like, mm-hmm. Well, let me find out later. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. So she was stabbed in the chest several times. Of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means the victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Anything else? Is it oh arm. The victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body and the pole directly behind her. Now, why would they do that? I mean to stop her from struggling. But my thing is 
did they kill her first and then prop her up or did they prop her up then kill her? That's my question. Cause that means if if they killed her then propped her, that means she was killed someplace else. Is there anything else? on the body that we need to know about. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times. Though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. Is there nothing... Oh wait, right eye? Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Splendid! You're the smartest computer program ever. H how did you guess that? Face, face, face... I'm really just looking around to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't think I have though. So I guess we'll just exit. Wait. Oh wait, never mind. It's the main come holding up the roof. Wait, so is it that the moment you click on it, it will it'll stop being green? Let me test that out. It doesn't look like it's laying up any. Oh, it does. So, on her body, I probably missed something. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Wait, it's still green, though. Is there more? Oh, yeah, there's more. Right now, she's standing in the porn ring with her umbrella. Up. A local cop. I already asked him this, but I'm gonna try to get rid of everything. It's. Kagami. Oh, so it just stays there? The city's skyscrapers crowd each other. So, I must have missed something on the body because it's still green! Okay. Imprints on the body. Okay, that's gone. The left eye socket is vacant. So you took an eye out. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Okay, so he didn't just stab the eyeball. He literally took the eyeball. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Before her death? Oh man, that must suck. Shit, they're like, alright, before we kill you, we need one of your eyeballs, so... Just, you know, don't blink. <laughs> That's... Ugh. You gotta kill me first, you gonna remove anything from my body. I carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. Ouch. That's just a big ouch. What was that? Yeah, something slammed. Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? The noise came from inside. Use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. You have an x-ray mode? I forgot. Uh, oh, 
I was literally about to say, yeah, I swear to God, if there's someone on the other side. <laughs> there is literally someone sitting there. It looks like a child, though. <gasps> oh, no. It appears as though someone is inside. Hey, wait! Shut up. I pushed him aside and ran up the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Suki. Um, this doesn't look good for her. Who knows how long she was staying in there, too. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? You're... What is going on? What? Are you the AI? If you were a human? Where do I even start with this? Yes, um, where do you start with this? Uh, I can answer all of your queries. Alright then. Who are you? <laughs> He's like, okay, who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? Dang. What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego, but I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation. I'm trying to sort out those sweet da dance moves she was doing. I'm just like, what are we looking at right now? I'm trying to sort out my situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know. I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! God, what was all that? Got it. Got what? 
I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest resources of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. His face as he said it. No! Stop! Stop! Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this. Dante's dream world in this strange surreal dream. Trust the light to wake up, Dante. In Smonia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlock the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First move, I'll get close to the door and investigate. It says turn on the light. A door locked with a padlock. When investigating these scenes, you can choose from a number of options to give Abby instructions. For now, have Abia investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm, I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. Can we also talk about how there's a skeleton sitting on the couch and nobody has said a word about it yet? This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. Places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed, but it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. Objects to investigate in the Somnium world. You are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Aria over to it and investigate. Alright, which is over there. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Grab or smell? Let's smell it. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? 
He's funny, it's hilarious. You were able to touch it. Correct. So I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Progress. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions can now advance your progress. Reach the end to clear the summon. You can view the controls in the menu. Alright, let's go through the switch next. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. Who's that? Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. <laughs> I like how they make it sound so epic. Unlocked. You turned on the light. Confetti. It's like, dude, you just turned a switch. But there is another mental lock on you. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide to open the door as a lead. You can always check the tutorial by going to the menu, file, and appendix. A glass of wine. Take a sip. Will she even be able to take a sip? No, let's investigate it. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full bodied red from Bourgogne. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. A glass of wine. Okay, let's have her take a sip this time. Leave it to me. We'll go straight through her. Hey! And she <sighs> choked the whole thing. I in the that skeleton has like a red ball in his eye. Why? Kinda <laughs> good. I mean, yeah, you chugged half the bottle. What did you think was gonna happen? Why is it? Date diss me all the time. <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Is it the lady? To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Aiba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. God dang. And what's with your arm? Stop. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Kick, turn on the light. Let's turn on the light. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Will he stop? Shut up. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Tackle, wear, basket, search it. A model of a UFO. A 
stuffed chupacabra and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Okay, so I can't interrupt it, so I've done everything for that. Let me go see a skeleton again. A skeleton. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead, like they should. A skeleton. I can't do either of them both. Hmm. So, yeah, I think you're the only one left. Hold on. Is there anything else I can interact with? I don't think so. I don't see anything else glowing. A lamp. It Let's lift it up. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. <laughs> must be allergies. <laughs> so stupid. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It looks like a. All right, there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> oh, it moves his head. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? A skeleton. Oh, hit him? Okay. No I think it's the girl. Skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. So we just end up in another room, kind of? Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is Who that? Is Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Boss is sleep talking. Hmm, a hidden item in insomnia? There's always one somewhere. Hmm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. What? What kind of tutorial was that? What? Uh, that's AI's eyeball. came out of the skull? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. Exactly. Like, there was just a skeleton just casually placed on the couch. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? A gun. It won't go off. It should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. I don't think there's anything else here. A door locked with a padlock. 
Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Oh my god! Will you stop? Please! Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't! I suppose... Oh my god, she doesn't get the joke. was the key well 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 it seems i was key in helping us escape okay that's it this dream is over i suppose this dream is over then guess i'll wake up now good <laughs> she's like finally i can't stand your ass anymore i'll open it Ew. Ew. Who was that? Day two, Saturday. Oh my. Good morning, Date. Alright guys, where well, it looks like I'm gonna have to stop the video right here before it gets any further. I am very intrigued by this game so far. It, I am very excited to see what's gonna happen in this game more and more because at first it was giving a very, stra very strange vibes to me. Kind of like, you know, just like, huh, where's this gonna go? But there's a lot of mystery going on here and there's a lot of Danganronpa and Ace Attorney elements combined in here. Like, I can see it. Like, the mental locks? That's Ace Attorney! That's all Ace Attorney. Like, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see some elements of Danganronpa in here, because you can already see, like, they just kind of mix the games together um, very well. Um, I'm getting used to the little um, moving characters, at, you know, like, right now when they talk. Because usually, you know, you know, they usually just show like a picture of the character and then you just, you read the lines. But this time you actually have them moving, like their lips and their eyes and everything as they speak, which is really cool, but I, I, I don't really experience this much, so. But that's it for now. Um, again, if you guys would like to see more of this game, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! See you later.